Aloha, this is section 9.4, which is multiplying special cases. There's two types of special cases. There's squaring a binomial, and then there's difference of squares, which I'll show you next. When you square a binomial, your answer will be a perfect square trinomial, and that's going to be fe uh, featured in future um, sections. So when you have a binomial that's squared, so the quantity of x plus 7 squared, a common mistake people do is they try to distribute this in. Um, because we got used to, to having, if it was 7x you square, you could distribute this in and get 49x squared. Because of that plus sign, you cannot do that. So there's no, no such thing as x squared plus 49. You cannot have the sum of squares. Um, the, the special case is called difference of squares. So this needs to be a minus sign. So when you have x plus 7 quantity squared, what you want to do is rewrite it out twice because it's squared. And then you want to do your FOIL. So you get x squared plus 7x plus 7x plus 49. Combine your x's and you get x squared plus 14x plus 49. And this answer is what's called the perfect square trinomial because the a or the x squared is a perfect square and this last term is a perfect square as well and it's a trinomial. So second example, again, rewrite it out twice. And I'm going to do this one a little faster with the FOIL. So F and the O, the I and the L, and you get 4X squared minus 6X minus 6X plus 9, because it's minus 3 times minus 3, so plus 9. When you combine your X's in the middle, you get 4X squared minus 12X plus 9. Again, this is a perfect square, because the square root of 4X squared is 2X. And the square root of positive 9 is 3. So there's your answer, which is a perfect square trinomial. Same thing here. What do you think now we're going to be using exponents? Rewrite it out twice, and I'll just do your FOIL. So when you do this, you get 9x to the fourth. When you do this one, you get plus 15x squared y, and again plus 15x squared y. And when you do the L, 5y times 5y is plus 25y squared. When you combine it, you get 9x to the fourth plus 30x squared y plus 25y squared. And that's still a perfect squared trinomial because the square root of 9x to the fourth is going to be 3x squared, which is up here. And the square root of 25y squared is 5y, which is up there. Okay. So that's the first special cases when you're squaring binomials. Please write it out twice. This is going to be key so you don't try to distribute the exponent in. Okay. The next example I have for you is difference of squares. Okay, when you have a binomial, if you notice, it's x and x, plus and minus, 7 and 7. If those are exactly the same except for the plus and the 7, I mean, sorry, the plus and the minus, that's going to be called difference of squares. So same thing here, you got 2x and 2x, you got 3 and 3, but you got a plus and minus. Same thing here, you got 3x squared, you got 5y, and you got plus and minus. Okay. When you do FOIL, you get x squared here. On this one, you're going to get x times negative 7, so it's minus 7x. When you do this, plus 7 times x, you get plus 7x. And when you do this L, you get 7 times negative 7, which is minus 49. If you notice, the O and the I cancel each other out for FOIL. And you're left with x squared minus 49. This is called a difference of squares because this is a perfect square, and this is a perfect square, and difference, again, is subtraction. So it's like saying a perfect square minus a perfect square, and that's where you get difference of squares. So your answer is actually a binomial. Whereas in this case over here, you notice your answer is a trinomial. So be careful with these. So again, when you do this, you get 4x squared for your f. Your o, you get minus 6x. Your i, you get plus 6x, which will cancel out. And the l is positive 3 times negative 3, which is minus 9. These cancel out again. So your answer would be 4x squared minus 9. And that's a perfect, I mean, sorry, that's a, Difference of squares because that's a perfect square minus another perfect square.
So if you notice with difference of squares, you don't even need to do the O and the I. You can just do the F and the L. And but make sure you use the negative. So on this one, when I do the F for FOIL, I get 9x squared. And when I do the L for FOIL, I get minus 25. Oops, I'm sorry. 9x to the fourth. I hope you caught that. And on this one, you get 25y squared. And your answer is 9x to the fourth minus 25y squared. Okay, that's section 9.4. That's multiplying special cases. Again, difference of squares is 1. And perfect square trinomials or square in a binomial is the other. Take care.